Welcome to Dinosaur National Monument. Depending on the time of year that you visit Dinosaur will depend on how you would get up to the quarry. Usually in the off season or winter time, you will usually be able to drive your car up to the quarry itself. But during the spring to fall time, you can usually catch a shuttle from the visitor center that will take you up to the quarry, which offered very wonderful views. And the quarry itself was very unique to this park specifically because I had learned about the history of the building, which was very fascinating. And also the tons of fossils that could be found inside the building was super cool. And all the different exhibits, like from being able to like identify different fossils and all the different parts and like, because and like why all these fossils were here in the first place was pretty cool and there were also some fossils which you could liter literally touch as you can see right here and it was super cool just being able to just be up close with all these fossils and to see them naturally where they are and they also had this exhibit here of the allosaurus which is what the park is famous for which is, is a pretty cool dinosaur and yeah the quarry definitely worth it if you are visiting dinosaur it is a must visit now also there is a trail heading from the visitor center to the quarry but i we i did not get a chance to hike it it's called the fossil discovery trail really cool rangers definitely recommend you check that one out if you're ever visiting the park Our next stop was the Josie Morris cabin. This cabin was inhabited by Josie Morris after she broke up with her ex-husband and she moved here and lived all alone here until she was 96 years old. She had built this cabin from scratch and had basically set up a homestead by herself just in this remote part outside of Vernal. And later you'll see the canyon that we'll hike up I hiked up to later um, called Hog Canyon where she kept her hogs um, and all the in the chicken coop that she had as well it was super cool being able to learn the history about Josie Morris and her cabin and to understand more of the frontier life in this part of the country One thing I was definitely surprised at by when I visited Dinosaur mid-October was all the fall colors. Thinking of it being in the middle of the desert, you wouldn't really think that there would be many fall colors. Well, you'd be wrong. 
And it was super cool just to experience this because I've always wanted to visit a national park with nice fall colors. Because um, my next go-to one would be Great Basin for me. But Dinosaur really showed off some pretty fall colors and you can tell that. And this is Box Canyon just located right outside of the Josie Morris cabin. Beautiful, beautiful fall colors. Definitely would recommend it. It was very beautiful. Our next stop was the Club Creek Petroglyphs. Um, so usually at the visitor center, you can buy a road guide, and this would be two of the stops along it towards the very back. And these petroglyphs were really cool. Um, definitely would recommend it. Up, It is a kind of a steep hike up to see them. Very short, but very sweet, and you get to see tons of cool petroglyphs. Uh, my personal favorites were some of the lizards, like these ones here. And also the flute player. That was also one of my other favorite ones, which is showing right here. It is definitely nice, fun, and sweet. If you want to see petroglyphs up close, um, just note that it is a dirt road back all the way to Josie Morris Cabin. And yeah, that's practically the Club Creek petroglyphs. And one thing I always love about petroglyphs is I always want to know the story behind them. Because they look like they have a very interesting story to tell. And I would love to understand more about what the Native Americans are wanting to try to tell me. So the weather the day we visited um, had been going up and down. When we first stopped at the park, it was cloudy and then it cleared up a bit. And then as you can tell, it started to get cloudy um, and rain had started to form. And I think this goes to show that not every national park trip you plan is going to go exactly as you want. It's going to vary. And... And that's what makes visiting a national park so interesting is that you don't know what's going to happen. And like, for example, I didn't know that I would see such beautiful fall colors here at Dinosaur as I wouldn't, as I've never thought that. And now I know that Dinosaur has great fall colors and also, yeah, this little one, this little storm had come through and as you can tell, it started to downpour pretty badly before we even attempted a trail. So yeah, I'm here at the visitor center again. Um, because we were going to attempt to do the Desert Voices trail today, but it started pouring. So that's fun. Yeah, but we did get our Junior Rangers. Show you guys real quick. It's this here, pretty cool. Um, this is my 25th park, so yeah, it's super fun. Um, we are now heading into Vernal, so yeah, and tomorrow we'll get to explore the Colorado side of the monument, hopefully do the Desert Voices Trail and some other things around here. So yeah, thanks for watching.